where we have a quadratic. R squared. Did you see where I got how how I got that far? You're with me. I think I went too fast. Okay, the circumference. That's. Um, I don't like this. this. Thing is getting antsy on me. All I'm worried about is the surface area. And the surface area is 360. And since I added them together, the label, the can itself, is length times width. It's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. Mm -hmm. So I peel off this label, and its length is the circumference of the circular top times the height, which they gave me, which was 3. I'm just going to write down the height, plus the area of the top and the bottom of the can, which is the circle, so right cylinder, pi r squared, and there's two of them, so 2 times pi r squared. I'm going to solve for r in this quadratic, so the first thing I do is C is 2 pi r. Then they gave me my height as 3. And that's plus this 2 pi r here. Weird. So it's the sides and the top. And they told me what it's equal to. 360. Now, I call myself the king of canceling. Alright, so I'm going to go, I, I never ever do any math out. I'll write it just like this, because I know something's going to fall out on this test. So I go pi, I divide by pi and the whole thing. And so those pi's go away. As a matter of fact, let's pick a nice red color for canceling. So, pi's go away. Now look at each one of these is, has a 2. So I divide by 2, I divide by 2, and I divide 360 by 2. So my next step I have 180 is equal to 3R plus R squared. And they typically get down to the coefficient of the squared number, where if it's A X squared plus BX plus C, the A is almost always 1. You can use the quadratic formula, or you can factor. And what they're solving for is the radius. All right. So if I factor this, I'll subtract 180 from both sides to get 0 over here, and I'm looking for the roots. So I get r squared plus 3r minus 180 equals 0. So what are two factors? of 180 to 180 that are different by 3. Six. 
What are the factors of 180? Give me, let me give you a big hint. To differ by 3 and end in 0, I'm going to factor this down to r minus a small number, because that's negative, and r plus a big number, because my b term is positive. And the digits that they have to end in is 2 and 5. So 180 is going to be equal to two numbers times each other, and they're going to end in 2 and 5. Two times five ends in zero. This is a big lesson. I should do a whole lesson on that last digit. These problems actually become very, very easy if you just remember the multiplying the last digits is what it gets to. Yeah, it's very interesting because I can solve these problems very, very quickly and rarely, if ever, I can estimate and then I can guess. So, what's a number um, that? multiplied to get 180. So I, I'm going to guess, you know, we'll, I'll do something like, oh, I don't know, 12 times 15, because <laughs> I knew the answer already, because I torture young children with multiplication tables, and I like to do 15. So this is positive. This is going to be my 15. And these are numbers they love. love, 15 and 12, and they're both multiples of 3, four and five those are also numbers they love so here this is a negative number radius can't be negative r is equal to twelve if i solved for zero what is the area of the circular base i'm going to guess pi r squared is one forty four pi how close am i like that red it looks pretty sharp doesn't it So let's plug that number back in. Number back 24. 24. Oh, oh di diameter. You you had area written here, yeah. Uh, if r equals 12, yeah. Then d equals 24. Correct. So let's plug that number back in. Let's do 3, which is the height, times... 2 times pi, uh, uh, 2 times, excuse me, well, I'm losing my mind, 2 times 12. 